spending waiting moments doing crossword puzzles or reading a book you brought yourself. Be able to sneeze without sounding ridiculous. That means neither stifling yourself or spraying your immediate vicinity. Know the function of a fuse box and the appearance of a tripped circuit breaker. Skill is successfully walking a tightrope between the twin towers of New York's World Trade Center. Intelligence is not trying. I would not encourage children or teens to multitask because we don't know where those efforts may lead. Attention deficit disorders seem to abound in modern society, and we don't know the cause. The freedom to be an individual is the essence of America. Know how to treat frostbite until you can get indoors. Know how to behave at a fine restaurant, which is a telltale measure of social maturity. Know how weather, especially humidity, can affect the movement of doors and windows. Know how to travel from your town to a nearby town without a car, either by bus or by rail. Be able to recognize many of the major constellations and know the stories behind them. When our spelling is perfect, it's invisible. But when it's flawed, it prompts strong negative associations. Evolution has long been the target of illogical arguments that use presumption. Be able to correctly pronounce the words you would like to speak and have excellent spoken grammar. Know how to effectively voice a complaint or make a claim at a retail store. Be able to go shopping for a bathing suit and not become depressed afterward. I believe that one can indeed work on two or more tasks at once, but in ways yet to be understood. People who work crossword puzzles know that if they stop making progress, they should put the puzzle down for a while. Avoid using cigarettes, alcohol, and drugs as alternatives to being an interesting person. Know how your representatives stand on major national or state issues. Be able to live alone, even if you don't want to and think you will never find it necessary. Be able to cite three good qualities of every relative or acquaintance that you dislike. Know which officials are voted into office and which are appointed, and by whom. Be able to confide your innermost secrets to your mother and your innermost fears to your father. To acquire knowledge, one must study, but to acquire wisdom, one must observe. Know what to do if you feel faint or dizzy, especially if you might fall and hit your head. Being defeated is often a temporary condition. Giving up is what makes it permanent. Be able to describe anything visual, such as a street scene, in words that convey your meaning. Be able to describe anything visual, such as a street scene, in words that convey your meaning. Be able to identify the most common breeds of dogs and cats on site. 
Capital punishment is the source of many an argument, both good and bad. Have enough sense to know, ahead of time, when your skills will not extend to wallpapering. Success is achieved by developing our strengths, not by eliminating our weaknesses. Be able to analyze statistics, which can be used to support or undercut almost any argument. Know how to garnish food so that it is more appealing to the eye and even more flavorful than before. A good idea will keep you awake during the morning, but a great idea will keep you awake during the night. Know where to find the sunrise and sunset times and note how the sky looks at those times, at least once. Be able to tell whether garments that look good on the hanger actually look good on you. Be able to notice all the confusion between fact and opinion that appears in the news. Be able to draw an illustration as least well enough to get your point across to another person. Be able to defend your arguments in a rational way. Otherwise, all you have is an opinion. Experts say you can't concentrate on more than one task at a time.